The lake is the most beautiful natural landscape, the purest water and fresh air. However, all the listed advantages do not apply to some water bodies on our planet. One of these lakes is Lake Natron. What is so scary about this reservoir? We will find out in this issue. Lake Natron is located in northern Tanzania, near the border with Kenya. It got its name from the mineral Natron. The lake is not large, 22 kilometers wide and 57 kilometers long, with a depth of less than 3 meters. In 2011, photographer Nick Brandt traveled to the eastern region of Africa. His path ran just through Lake Natron. What he thought was the perfect landscape for wildlife photography turned out to be an animal grave. Brand later learned that the famous lake turns them into stones. The photographer was completely shocked when he first saw petrified animals around the lake. He wanted to briefly bring them back to life. That's why Nick allowed himself to take a few photos. Returning to his homeland, the photographer published a collection of images of Lake Natron. The photographs depict life and at the same time, its absence in animals and birds, whose life suddenly stopped the moment they met the lake. Scientists have tried to explain the murders on the lake, relying on scientific knowledge. Natron is a saline and alkaline lake. When water from a reservoir evaporates, it leaves behind natron crystals in high concentration. This is a natural chemical, sodium carbonate or soda. Due to its high concentration, salt residues turn any inanimate object, including dead animals, into hard stones. There is another theory according to which the lake traps animals. The high salt content crystallizes the surface of the water, creating a mirror illusion, as if the surface of the lake is not wet. This misleads the birds, as a result of which they fall into the lake. The reservoir is considered one of the most caustic in the world, and the water temperature reaches 60 degrees. Therefore, animals die, and their remains are covered with mineral substances and harden, turning into stone statues. At certain times, the surface of Natron can be covered with a crust of mineral salt brought along with volcanic ash from the East African Rift Valley. In February and March, the water in Lake Natron can even be viscous due to the high content of sodium carbonate. Such a mixture of elements in water does not give life to almost anyone. Only three species of small organisms survive here, one species of fish and one species of birds. Depending on the season, the water of this lake can take on different shades, from yellow-orange to bright red. Such an unusual color of the waters is due to the high concentration of salt-loving microorganisms and cyanobacteria in the water. They begin to actively breed in this reservoir with the onset of the dry season. In such conditions, lesser flamingos have perfectly taken root. The water of the lake reliably protects them from predators during the mating season, so millions of these birds come here to nest. However, this is still a dangerous event. Flamingos build their nests on salt islands that surround the deadly waters of the lake. The only fish found in abundance in the lake is the Alco Lapia alacalica. These little fish live at the edges of hot springs, where the water temperature is between 36 and 40 degrees. As it turned out, all the mysteries of Lake Natron are scientifically explainable. However, if you want to visit there, keep your safety in mind. That's all from me. If you enjoyed it, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you again.